Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and I'm coming back at you today with another dumpster dive. Now you've probably noticed, hopefully, if you've been on my channel for a little while, if you're subscribed, if you're not, why aren't you? You need to do that right now. Anyway, you've probably noticed that Sundays are my days that I upload dumpster diving videos. So today is no exception. I have a vitamin shop dumpster dive coming at you guys. And if you didn't already know, Madison, um, which is my girlfriend and I, you can go check out our tag video if you want. We are doing this challenge where we eat freaking for a month. So what that means is that we're going to eat food that came straight from a dumpster or that we got for free. You guys asked us to do this on our last vitamin shop dumpster dive and we're obviously super intrigued by it as environmentalists and things like that. So we're doing that. Um, this is going to be part of like what we're eating this month. Things that are seemingly more easy for us to find are protein bars and produce so that works out perfectly. I know a lot of people just want to see what we got so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'll come back in a little bit and explain some more things for you guys. Hey guys, so real quick, I know everyone wants to see live diving and uh, I forgot my, or I lost my um, head strap. So I haven't been live diving the whole time, but we just found this whole huge box of stuff, bag of stuff at a uh, vitamin shop and it's so heavy we can't even pick it up. So <laughs> y'all are gonna see us take it out, but I just wanted to show you the live dive because everyone's always asking for it. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully I'm not covering the mic. But yeah, we're gonna see if there's anything else and y'all see it afterwards. You, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> So we have some, oh yeah, chocolate and caramel bars, chocolate peanut butter pure protein bars, another full box of rice protein bars, and another unopened full box of coconut macadamia protein energy. She's got most of the food and I've got like more beauty type stuff I guess, or like this allergy relief stuff. A couple of caveman bars. Another oh yeah bar. Ooh, gourmet cheesecake protein bar. Then we got, oh these are different. This is advanced acid, whatever this word is, plus. And then you can see the seals on there. And then this is calcium magnesium with vitamin D3. Yeah, <clears throat> several different <throat> flavors of the gourmet cheesecake bar. Some chocolate peanut butter, some raspberry truffle. And about four of these right here. Unopened sun food, some kind of, oh, smoothie powder? This would be cool, then. A whey isolate, oh, is that how you say Isolate? Yeah, isolate. Isolate protein drink? Watermelon flavor. <laughs> you hate watermelon. I do hate watermelon. A lot of these uh, beef jerky sticks. Full thing of gourmet <clears throat> cheesecake protein bars. A turbo half and half. Ice tea and lemonade. Brand new sealed in box vegan calcium. 90 veggie capsules because trim supports appetite control, promotes metabolic rate, blah, blah. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> Have some peanut cacao protein energy balls. Oh, yeah, we found three of the ones I just showed you, actually. Then we have the coconut macadamia nut energy balls. Advanced lipid control. Tons of these beef jerky things, guys. Combat front. Vitamin C packs. Good for when you get sick. So many protein bars. Yummy bear sugar free D3 vitamins. And you can see it still has the plastic wrapper on it. So brand new. Expirations on these. June 2017. <clears throat> October 2017. I hope you guys can see this. So this has expired in December, but it is pumpkin spice peanut protein peanut butter. And again, this one is unopened. So maybe we'll try it out. You guys are probably familiar, but like stores expiration dates are very conservative. Most things are fine to eat after the expiration date. Daily essential vitamins, women's formula. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, we'll probably donate this. This is a live foods garden of life summer berry bar Probi a probiotic bar that's interesting all right this one's also still sealed in its bottle this is digest gold lord knows shelby needs probiotics detox <clears throat> that's pretty cool august 2017 on these pure protein chocolate peanut butter don't know what this is but still sealed you can see it some gourmet cheesecake protein bars. Wow. We have like a lifetime supply of these now. Oh my goodness. Talk about the jackpot. I know, dude. First this is a vitamin E oil, which is really good for your skin. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar. Herbal resistance liquid vegetarian caps. Don't know what this is, but it's still sealed. 
bathing in protein bars. <laughs> bathing in it. Wow, are these, like, let's see when this one expires. This isn't freaking expired till April of 2018. Can y'all see this? This fucking light is not. October 2017. I mean, this is, this is what pisses me off. Okay, let me turn this light off. It's good for her, but not for close up. Oh Lord, now you can't see anything. Maybe you can't. Uh, yeah. April 2018. Zero calorie sweetener. <clears throat> Forgot a couple. Oh. Forgot a couple bars at the bottom of the bag. Down. And that was our vitamin shop haul. So this is all the stuff we got, you guys. And just so you know, we didn't take out all of these, but this whole box is completely sealed with all of these bars. How many come in this box? 12 bars in this box. And also in this box, this box isn't sealed, but it has a bunch more of those in there, as you can see. So we didn't take all those out. So it actually doesn't even look like as much as it really is, because then on this side, we have this box full of stuff. This is an unopened box. Well, I think it's open, but it's, it's not. It's just, it's just not sealed. I don't know. You get the idea. This is still packaged, has plastic on it. You can see 12 bars in there. This one hasn't been opened. I think they all come in sets of 12. Still has plastic on this one. Oh, these are bounce bars. Same thing as those right there. So that's what's in here. This is un unopened, so 12 bars in there. So it actually, it's really a lot more than it even looks like. These are all beef jerkies, which we're gonna donate because we don't eat that. Okay, so obviously that is a crap ton of food. Like, that's so crazy. Is that not the craziest thing to any of you guys? Like, the more and more I tell people about me doing this, the more and more people say, is it expired food? Like, what's wrong with the food? Like, why are they throwing it out? And all I can tell you is there's not recalls. I've looked them up. They're not expired. I don't know. I The only thing I can assume is that they're making room for new products. They have to get out the things that are older to make room for new products, and they don't even bother to give it to someone who needs it, you know what I mean? I'm sure you guys heard me mention throughout the video, but about half of that we are gonna donate because some of it was like beef jerky, we don't eat meat. Um, some of it is just like flavors that we won't eat and the, we, there's so many there that we know we'll have enough to make it through the month, so we're gonna donate the rest of them. As always, this whole situation is just mind blowing to me. I'm so upset every time it happens, but then I get so excited that like I know that this is happening and I'm able to take a part in like stopping it from the landfill and feeding the hungry. Like, I'm every time I do a food dumpster dive where I get to donate food I am so excited about it I just get so happy that I'm I'm actually you know I think a lot of people can call themselves environmentalists a lot of people can claim they care about the poor a lot of people make these claims where they don't take actions in their daily lives to like fulfill that what would you call it to fulfill that notion to fulfill that opinion to fulfill you know whatever it is that you want to call it that belief that they say they have that they're an environmentalist that they care about the needy and stuff like that but I really think it's important to <laughs> I've mentioned this before be the change you want to see in the world and some people comment on my dumpster dives and say okay you say you're doing this to like stop the demand for these products because I'm not having to purchase them so it stops not food <laughs> but like makeup and I did like a, a dumpster haul where I gave gifts for Christmas uh, out of the dumpster and I said that it's so that I'm not creating a demand for those products when I'm buying them and that is what it is and if you don't understand supply and demand and if you think what I'm doing isn't making a difference then like do you really have a problem with the with the process and like what are you doing to make a change you know what I mean so I think the first step in anything is making the change yourself being an example to the people in your life and to the world in general of what you think the world should be doing so that's what I'm doing here and it's so freaking awesome I can't tell you guys how cool it is that I now have like 30,000 subscribers to talk about this too like I can't even put into words how exciting it is that there are that many people who are interested in this sort of thing. I, I can't thank you guys enough. I do giveaways every week, but they're mostly makeup. What I do plan on doing, though, is doing a giveaway on my Instagram once I make it to 5,000 followers. I'm just going to pick some of my subscribers and do a basic gift card, like a $100 gift card, to I think five of you guys. I think that would be reasonable once I reach 5,000 followers on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me there, make sure you go do that. But that, that's, you know, that's a gender, gender neutral thing, and like anybody could go get anything they need with that, like a Visa gift card, you know? So I just wanted to put that plug in here really quickly because you guys are awesome. I'm so glad I have found so many people who are interested in doing what I'm doing, who care about what I'm doing, who care about the planet and people, and I just can't thank you guys enough. So. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you've been finding anything cool in the dumpsters lately. Are you doing, are you eating food out of the dumpster? Do you think I'm a freak for doing it? I'm sure you do. A lot of people on YouTube do 
fuck the haters. Anyway, you guys, create the peace. Tippy. <laughs>